Do you know what it takes to make the detergent that powers millions of washing machines daily? More than 20 million liters of this vital cleaning agent are used globally every day. Crafting a liquid potent enough to remove tough stains from clothes is no small feat. To uncover the secrets behind this everyday essential, we ventured into the heart of Henkel's factory. Join us as we delve into the fascinating process that results in the production of over 4 million bottles of detergent each week, a vital component of our daily cleanliness and comfort. The history behind the development in clothes washing is long and varied. Europeans lived for centuries without soap, starting probably around 700 AD or so. But the Romans way back when had used the stuff for washing their clothes. One more advancement in soap making came into play in the early 1900s with table salt added to make it accessible. This finding, made by a German chemist in 1897 in the search for the substitution of animal fat and incidentally inventing the substance called alkylbenzene sulfonate, a future principal substance of detergents, played a serious role in the development of the detergent industry. During World War II, the shortage of fats for making traditional soaps and the discovery of their limitations led to an increase in the production and use of synthetic detergents. After the war, detergents quickly became popular worldwide. In the following decades, numerous advances were made in detergent chemistry, including the introduction of enzymes, optical brighteners, more effective surfactants, and other additives to improve cleaning capacity and performance in different water conditions and types of dirt. Detergent is a product primarily designed to remove dirt, grease, and stains from surfaces. It usually contains surfactants that break down the dirt, allowing it to dissolve in water and be easily rinsed off. Detergents are born in the laboratory and do not enter the production phase until they have been examined, analyzed, and generally tested to the breaking point. This factory produces industrial-use liquid soaps and detergents. This is the 1400 cubic kilometer headquarters of Henkel, six kilometers from the center of Dusseldorf city, and today they are working on a new improved detergent. Scientists have been continuously improving detergent formulas to make them more effective in cleaning and more environmentally friendly. The challenge is to create something chemically powerful to devour the worst stains but not damage the clothes or the environment. It must also keep fabric sparkling and attract the eye and nose of the consumer. The new chemical cocktail begins in the laboratory. The detergent includes soap, color protectors, and water softening agents to prevent mineral buildup in clothes. This will be a powerful detergent for cleaning and degreasing clothes. To say goodbye to persistent stains like oil or ketchup, the laboratory adds two special chemical ingredients, surfactants and enzymes. These are the surfactants responsible for the cleaning action, chosen for their ability to remove dirt and generate foam. Surfactants make the water wetter, while enzymes literally eat stains for breakfast. Enzymes are small biological molecules that can attack certain types of stains, such as blood splatters. The new mixture still has a long way to go before it is finished. Additives are selected to stabilize the formula and give the desired viscosity to the detergent. A scientist cooks a variety of everyday stains. Each one is introduced into a syringe and then goes to this computerized machine that manufactures the dirt. Fifteen different syringes are inserted and as a piece of fabric passes underneath, a small rotating sponge impregnates the product. This machine can make 10,000 stains a day. According to company data, people leave clothes in the dirty laundry basket for up to a week, so the sheets are hung up for thorough drying and then stored in the dark. When the dirt is completely dry, the sheets are loaded into the company's mega laundry, one by one. Once clean, the team inspects the sheets and contrasts the results with previous detergents. Each stain is classified and recorded with normal and ultraviolet light, which shows marks that are invisible to the naked eye. Anything that is not perfect goes back to the laboratory. But the new batch of today has passed the test. The danger is that many agents damage the fibers of our clothes. To ensure that this does not happen, the destructive effects of the new formula are measured. A washed sample is loaded, then the machine stretches it to the breaking point. By analyzing the results, the company can adjust the ingredients to ensure that the clothes will be clean but will not fall apart when worn. Although the detergent may work perfectly, attracting the consumer involves including two ingredients. The first is color. Detergents are usually blue or green because people associate cleanliness with these two colors. The raw materials are stored in 100 cubic meter tanks, 
The ingredients are precisely measured according to the designed formula to ensure consistency in each batch. As they are channeled, they join with the perfumes and enzymes. The correct ingredients for the new detergent are mixed in a gigantic 30 cubic meter agglomerator. It is essential to mix the ingredients well so that the chemicals are distributed everywhere. Water is introduced with a pump, and the blades mix the material, forming a sticky and moist substance. The dye is added to the new mixture to make that pleasing to the eye and mind. As important as the color is the smell. Dye and surfactants are added, a substance that makes foam and dissolves dirt. Then pine oil, a disinfectant agent that only adds fragrance, is poured in. Next, the cleaning agent, sodium tripolyphosphate, is added. The job of making the clothes smell good is the responsibility of one of Henkel's perfumers. It is a challenge to develop a new fragrance because it is not easy to create a scent that pleases everyone. To create a fragrance, thousands of synthetic and natural smells are used, some costing a whopping $50,000 per kilo. The mixture is vigorously agitated to ensure that all components dissolve completely and are distributed evenly. Homogenization ensures a uniform consistency throughout the mixture. The duration of the mixing and heating process varies according to the formula and the plant's capacity, but it ensures compliance with the required quality standards. Once the mixture reaches the desired homogeneity, a controlled cooling process begins to stabilize the solution and prevent unwanted changes in the chemical composition. During cooling, additional tests are conducted to verify important properties such as pH, viscosity, stability, and the effectiveness of the detergent. If the tests reveal significant deviations from the desired specifications, controlled adjustments can be made to the composition to correct any identified problems. After cooling and quality testing, the detergent solution is left to rest in storage tanks for further stabilization before final processing. During this rest period, the solution continues to be monitored to ensure that it maintains its properties and no unwanted changes occur in its composition. Next, the detergent is distributed to the bottling area. It is ensured that the packaging lines are clean, sterilized, and ready to receive the detergent solution. The appropriate containers for the detergent are checked to ensure that they are clean and in optimal condition for filling. The detergent solution is transported from the storage tanks to the packaging lines, where it is filled into the previously prepared containers. Precise control of the volume of detergent poured into each container is carried out to ensure compliance with the established specifications and measurements. The containers are properly sealed to prevent leaks and maintain the integrity of the product. The company's production line fills more than 4.6 million bottles each week, enough to do more than 100 million loads of laundry. Meanwhile, an automatic pressure machine fills the dishwasher bottles. A device controls that they are filled correctly. A screw cap with a removable spout is applied. Then, the labels with important information such as usage instructions, warnings, and ingredients are placed. The labeled containers are placed in boxes for distribution. It is ensured that the containers are protected during transport and storage. Before proceeding with mass distribution, random samples are taken to verify that the packaged products meet the established quality standards. Once packaged and verified, the products are temporarily stored in designated areas for distribution to sales points. Strict inventory control is maintained to ensure that there are enough packaged products ready to be sent to distributors. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey through the world of detergent manufacturing. We hope you found this exploration as enlightening as it was fascinating. Like the video if you liked it and share it with someone else who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel and activate notifications to continue learning.